Hello and welcome to High School Soccer on WOSN. Alongside Brady Overholt, I'm Evan Skilleter, and it's a cold one in Salina for the opener of the OHSAA State Tournament. It's Salina against Elida, a rematch of a game played just a few weeks ago, played out to a draw, and Brady, we're looking forward to some good action today. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, you know, they had a, they battled to a tie just a few weeks ago, as you stated, and, uh, you know, pretty back and forth. Um, so I, I'm thinking we'll probably see something similar. You got time, you got time. Salina so, wearing the green uniforms, Elida wearing the white. And it's breezy as well. It's uh, just kind of gusty. It's not a consistent wind, but when we do get it, it's kind of going left to right on your screen. We'll see if that plays a factor on this short field in Salina as Elida moves it up toward the top of the box. This is Enelly Jackson, and it's cleared away. We'll get you the starting lineups. First for Elida, they start with Paige Durham, Julia Thomas, JoJo Knight, Jelena Howard, Peyton Kuhn, Nevea Schiffauer, Olivia Wallace, Ava Overholt, Annalie Jackson, Hannah Jones, and Leah Ramirez. For the Salina Bulldogs, it's Raven Harris, Kira Dirksen, Kamara Burns, Taylor Klingshern, Riley Seltz, Carly Hathaway, Ellie Hitchcock, Paige Veit, J.C. Felver, Kenley Holstad and Haley Garrity. Here's an early shot, but right at the goalkeeper. Yeah, both teams. I mean, are, are pretty. It, it's it's not no secret of who both teams kind of target. Uh, Elida with JoJo Knight and Annalie Jackson out on both the right and li left side. So the you, they'll, they'll be who Salina is really looking after. And and with Salina, it's it's really uh, Taylor Klingshern and, and Kira Dirksen, you know, doing a lot of theirs. So. It's not really a secret of who both teams are trying to go to, just how to make that work. And a handball called against Salina. So a free kick coming up for the Elida Bulldogs. These teams five and six respectively in their sectional. I say respectively, that doesn't work because I didn't tell you who's who. Salina the fifth seed and Elida the sixth. Yeah, the you know, the sectional's always even when I was coaching, it's usually a basically a WBL and this could be dangerous here with JoJo. And here's the cross and oh, the off the and bar off the post. by Jackson. Salina avoids damage but still some work to do as this one's crossed backside. Jackson's going to try that one and it'll go wide left and it takes a deflection so an early corner coming up for Elida. Yeah, Salina got out of one there. That was one of those just any type of touch at all. No, no power needed. It would have been in, but just a little too much on it here. Olivia Wallace will put it down. This is the first outdoor cold broadcast I've had of the year, so hopefully my lips can keep up. Well, and I think that's, uh, you know, in general, we've we've kind of been lucky this fall. Yeah. There was one that one one week that was a little chillier, but other than that, uh, there's been plenty of years where it's been been like this earlier. We just haven't had to see it yet this year. Goal kick for Salina as the corner went out of play. Ball sent back in by Elida, then cleared away again. Nice ball as Salina tries to send it up the right side. It'll take me a minute to get you the Salina names throughout the broadcast. The roster is in class order rather than numerical order, so it always takes just a little bit longer. So I apologize if uh, Brady and I are a little slow on the call. So that ball goes out for a goal kick. Yeah, and this wind's definitely, you see that wind's a factor here. That was, I think, Salina expecting to stay in, and it just kept going, so. Goal kick sent into midfield. Brought down by Salina. That was Haley Garrity. Now working it up the right side. That's Holstad. And out for a corner, ushered out by Ava Overholt. Is that right? Overholt. It is. Right. Yeah. Same no, I couldn't see. Oh. I couldn't see the number. <laughs> oh, I thought you were I, yeah, I know very mine. specifically who <laughs> she is and yeah. who her father is. He's going to try to stay unbiased, but as a father myself, I can't blame you for potential outbursts throughout this match. Uh, I'm sure, if anything, it'll be towards her, and maybe not a positive way. <laughs> Here comes the corner. Nice high ball sent toward the top of the box. Knotted down by Raven Harris. Elida still trying to clear. Maybe a chance to break, but it's grabbed by Carly Hathaway. 
Now a pass sent into the box by J.C. Felver. Still some trouble, ball squirts through and cleared away. Nicely there by Paige Durham. Good heads up play by her. Yeah, Paige is a, is a senior and, and man, she's really the glue of that defensive uh, group of four. She, uh, she's just all over the place. She's that gritty player, you know, that you always want to have on your, your roster. So she finds a way to get, get a ball and get it out there and get, save, save one. This ball sent forward down the left side. Salina able to keep it in. That's Kira Dirksen. Dirksen, left-footed cross, nice into the box, and the header goes in. Textbook soccer right there for the first score of this game. Yeah, I mean, a good cross on that far. I mean, honestly, both outside backs, you know. Uh, she, she got beat over on the left side, sent a cross over on this side, and, and 15, quite a bit taller, taller there, and, and got a good header. Just five and a half minutes into this game. It's 1-0 on the Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard. Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Coach Mitch Montford over there. I think they're questioning that offsides call. I'm not sure. Here's some fans over there too, so. So the goal has not been placed on the scoreboard yet, but there it is. Okay, so the goal right. does stand. I was wondering right, the same right. thing. It looked like there was a little bit of a discussion there on if that was offsides or not. But and Down. Ali, you're going to see the speed with her. Jackson cuts it back inside, now crosses top of the box. Touch there by Hannah Jones. Ball still loose in the box. Some work for Salina to do to get rid of it, and... A handball called there is just came up and hit Julia Thomas in the extended arm. Yeah, I mean both teams a couple opportunities already. It just it's, I think it's going to be one of those nights of who capitalizes and and right now uh, obviously Salina's got that advantage as now the rain starts in. It'll be on and off this entire game. We might even see some ice or snowflakes. Hopefully not, but. It's been a strange day of weather in the area. Strange two days, really. It rained or it snowed up in Fort Wayne. And a foul called against Overholt. Free kick will be taken by Salinas number 28. That's Kamara Burns. Not a down, still some work to do. And now the goalkeeper grabs it. Elida trying to break quickly. Jackson sends it to the outside for Durham. Good movement here for Elida as it's sent Good toward ball. the box. Just a little too much, though. Good job by the goalkeeper coming out to grab that. That was Riley Seltz. Or Seitz, excuse me. Now this one sent up the line by Elida, but cut out. And here comes the snow on cue. Hathaway down the right side for Salina. And that is just gonna drift out of play. Nope, it's nope. kept in nicely. Elida trying to clear now into the midfield. Hannah Jones takes a touch, sends it forward, and it rolls harmlessly into the box for Sites. Yeah, right now, I mean, a couple from Elida here have just, just been too direct. You know, when when the girls you're trying to get to are out wide, that, that, that direct ball is not probably what they're, they're looking to accomplish here. So. Elida with the throw on the far side, and it goes over everyone's head, and... Eventually finds the leg of Salina's number two, Taylor Klingshern. Control from Durham. That early goal for Salina could be super beneficial 
as these two teams, like you said, they'll go back and right. forth, fairly evenly matched. Right. They had a draw earlier this season. Yeah, and right now they're just, again, I think you just see Lida going directly forward, and that's making it easy for Salina's defense and their keepers. So. Nice ball in behind as Salina moves it up left side with Dirksen. Dirksen sends it toward the goal, but not much behind that, and no problem for the goalkeeper, Ramirez. Battle in midfield, and there's a nice hard shoulder by Elitis number 10, Olivia Wallace. Yeah, that was a, <laughs> that, those are ones that are pretty easy for the ref to call. Hopefully she's okay here, but again, and this, I, I think as we go through, it's gonna get slicker and even and, and even a little wetter to where we could see a lot of, a lot of uh, fouls maybe unintended, although that one looked pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, it did. And those hurt in this weather, this, right. this cold, the ground's nice and hard. Play continues as Salina puts it back into play. Knocked away by Elida as Olivia Wallace sends it out for a throw. Just over 10 minutes played. 1-0 Salina after a Holstad goal at the 34-28 mark. That ball out of play, last touch by Salina. So it looks like they're, uh, looks like Olivia Green up front for Elida and uh, Carmen Blaine in the middle for Elida. Just seeing Elida through the year, they're, they're usually playing about 14, 15 girls. Um, at, to be honest, the game we were at against Salina, I, th I think they're they're kind of similar. You know, both teams go about 14, 15 deep. And sometimes that's more tournament play, sometimes it's less, sure, depending sure. on what type of game you got. So. And I'll tell you what, on a day like today, I do not want to exit the game. Right. If I'm in, I just want to stay in. Because if you take me out, exactly it's right. going to take me a minute to warm back up yeah. when you want me to go back in. Yeah, you know, tournaments, you're you're obviously allowed you're allowed to move that roster up to 22 girls. And and uh, most coaches do that. You know, get some of your younger girls some, some, some uh, varsity type at least experience, whether it's just on the bench or not. But... Also, this weather is one of those games where I don't know a lot of those girls that don't see varsity time. This may not be the game yeah, they want to get into. Right. Just <laughs> yes, indeed. Free kick coming up for Elida after a handball. Hannah Jones puts it down. Jones with the low driver into the box. Knocked down by Salina, but they have to clear for a corner to avoid any danger. Second corner coming up for Elida. This is JoJo Knight. And actually, she'll leave it for Annalie Jackson. They take it short. Knight crosses toward the box, knocked down by the goalkeeper, and out for another corner. Yeah, I think goalkeeper was calling that, and defender was, you know, marking that post as she should, but kind of in the way so the goalie couldn't actually catch it. So that could have ended up a little more dangerous than maybe expected on that side so they'll play it short again Knight nice footwork to get around corner and there look at that and ball and the header from Hannah Jones so one each both ways going back and forth so yeah I think I think that's what we're going to be seeing all night here it's, it's pretty similarly matched so 27 16 on the clock and we have a tie game 1-1 one, one here in Salina as we step aside you're watching High School Soccer on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. 1-1 one, one on that scoreboard here in Salina as Elida ties it up off the head of Hannah Jones. Great assist by JoJo Knight as well. It flashed a nice footwork to get around yeah, the defender right, right. and then a nice driving cross. Yeah, that was – and honestly, I'm surprised Salina didn't maybe pick that up. That was two in a row the, where they played that short little ball in the corner, and each time she did get around, so. Now, Elida going to try it again as the wind picks up. 
This one into the box. Still loose in the box. This, this is where that weather can play a factor here with that ball just moving around the way it is. Still loose, maybe a chance for a shot. It's blocked nicely by Salina. That was Carly Hathaway with the block and now Salina looks to counter. Heading up the right side is Holstead. And that goes off of Overholt for a throw to Salina. Yeah, you mentioned, you know, teams are five and six. So, and honestly, this whole this whole section into the district is a is a pretty much all WBO with I, I believe just Liberty Benton and Bryan are the two non league schools and and that WBO is very close. Uh, you know, all teams there's about the top seven or eight schools are all right there and any given in any given day it can be a Shawnee, it can be a Saint Mary's, a Salina, Elida, so sure. Always fun to watch the all WBL boys and girls section, almost You're all right. WBL sectional and district. Well, on the right side, Jackson trying to chase it down. You know, I, I think I think every girls program, including the coaches, are happy that the one school not in this is, is OG <laughs> yes. because OG girls are are Division three, and wow, they're a, they're a force to be reckoned with. So, WBL champs, unbeaten state runner up last year, the Titans in Division three. And what I wouldn't give to be in the Columbus Crew press box instead of <laughs> right. the bleachers right. tonight. This one's sent into the box. Knight chasing it down. Knight with the cross back post. Jackson Don't. comes in. And I think, no, did not take a deflection. Jackson says it did. Yeah, I, I can, you know, I, I see he lied his coaches over there too. Uh, definitely had something, something yeah, touched sure. that. So, so I uh, might have got lucky there with a goal kick instead of a corner. Sometimes the referee's vision can be blocked. And yes, we are, what, 50 or 60 yards further right, away from right. the play than he is, but sometimes it goes that way. Elida still with possession. They drop it back for Thomas, but it's knocked away. And this is where that defender overhaul, if she can make that run, that's, that's what you want. And there is Overholt, gives it right back to Knight. Knight, top of the box, brought down nicely. That was Hannah Jones bringing it down. Now Jackson, Jackson with a chance, Jackson with a and shot. And another. Just like that, it's, it's, it's switched. Like I said, you, if they can get these girls going, uh, yeah, they, they can be dangerous. And a well-placed ball, back post right past the goalkeeper. And early fireworks, three goals already scored in this game, just over 15 minutes in. Elida leads two to one on WOSN. Today's scoreboard sponsor is Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Welcome back to Salina High School, where it's two to one, Elida over Salina in the first round of this Division II sectional tournament. Yeah, yeah, and any any type of maybe misplacement on that very first opportunity Annalie had on that uh, cross, uh, she definitely made up for there on that placement. That was textbook right to the back corner on the ground. And in this weather, those are the type that are, are do more damage than any others. I'm back underway is Salina, who scored the first goal at the 34-28 mark. Find themselves down two to one. This one gets all the way through for Olivia Wallace. This wind and snow is not ideal. I'll say it about 12 right. more times today. I think we lost one of our cameras just now. Uh, I believe it was the clock cam. So I will try to update you on timing until we can get that sorted out. 22.55 on the clock as it stands. Nice takeaway by Overholt as she sends it forward. Big Elida. That was Olivia Green dropping it back for Knight. Yeah, and it goes I, out for I, I, Elida throw. I think both teams have kind of, you know, the first 10 minutes or so, 
They've both settled down here a little bit. And Referee brings over Holt back and play continues. Oh man, imagine how different it would have been probably. if she had that extra five yeah, yards. Yeah, probably, well, probably a trick <laughs> she learned from, from her dad that didn't work this time. These refs are a little maybe better than what you see when you're in the youth level. Good touch from Knight, sends it to the middle of the field, but it's taken away. Klingshern has it knocked away by an Elida Bulldog. That one off of Overholt. It'll be a throw for Salina. Good aggression there from the young Ava Overholt. Oh, good step by JoJo. Yeah, like we said, there's a couple here that, you know, if JoJo, who's there watching now, Annalie's actually taking a little break. Elida plays a two freshmen, Overholt and uh, Bree Patrick, who, who subbed in for Annalie earlier uh, over on the right side. So. Now Salina with a cross, far post, over the head of the target. Still a chance, but that shot goes wide, taken by Raven Harris. That was a good ball as they targeted 17 in the middle. That was Rachel Ramble. Yeah, there's been a couple of times on, on the, you know, their crosses where it, that backside's being lost a little bit on the Elida defensive edge. You know, that first early goal, that we, both sides kind of got beaten. Here, that cross, if if she had a little less on it, it could have been, it could have been more danger. Salina still working it on the far side. Rammel pressured by Durham. And that goes out of play. Goal kick for Elida. Nice play from Salina as they drop it back and clear it into their final third. But Elida take it right back. And I'll tell you what, it's really been a lot of Elida on the ball in the last 10 minutes or so. Right, right. It's kind of switched over a little bit here. And you can tell that Elida's trying to mark mark up, on, obviously, on on uh, number two for Salina, who, who's obviously their big scoring threat, and kind of man-marking her. And, and if they can take uh, Taylor out of, out of things, that really changes this game. Now one sent toward the top of the box and a touch from Elida sent to the far side. This is Patrick. Patrick trying to find space. Patrick with the drop. Here's Durham. Might be wrong about uh, that uh, one. That is, let's see, that's uh, Carmen Blaine. Yep, okay, Carmen thank Blaine, you. Yep. Number nine, Carmen Blaine. And there's Durham. Possession pinged back and forth. Now Salina down the right side. Salina thought that Elida had played it back. Now we got some fans going at it. That would be fun. <laughs> well, you know, that's always funny. I, you hear, you hear the, both, both sides going back and forth. 90% uh, of the time, especially in, in girl, it's not – an intentional, right. <laughs> even if, you know, like I don't, a lot of people maybe don't understand that exact reasoning of that rule. Now around the outside goes Carroll. Carroll, chance to cross, it's on the ground and grabbed harmlessly by Ramirez. Still two to one here with 18 to go in the first half. Nice collision there at midfield as Salina comes up with the ball. Klingshern goes down and it's cleared away by Jelena Howard. Yeah, we're just seeing those little bursts of five, seven minutes back and forth. Now we're we were just talking about Elida kind of controlling and now we, we have a few minutes here of uh, Salina kind of controlling, moving the ball around, so. 
They send it outside once again. Carol trying to chase it down. She gets there, takes a touch, and the cross is blocked and it goes out for a corner. Olivia looks coming over and knocking it away. And so far these crosses have been deadly on both sides, so these are ones you gotta be careful on when you're on the defensive defensive side of things. Savannah Jacobs sets it up on the corner hill. It starts to slope down on the far side. Not sure if that shows up on camera. This field a little shorter than most. This one into the box, knocked toward goal, and it goes in. Took a couple deflections and a weird hop on yeah, the ground. That was a, yeah, that was a, <laughs> yeah, obviously you're gonna take it, but yeah, that, that one you definitely want back if you're Eli Dixon's head. Kind of just barely just bounced in there with a weird hop. So now your Wabash Mutual Telephone scoreboard says two to two. 16.42 on the clock, and it's a brand new game. Waiting for play to continue here as Elida does restart play. Down the right side. Knight, who moves from left to right, grabs that, sends it back for the defense, and it's sent into midfield. Knight, forward for Jackson. Jackson nods it behind her, chases it down. Jackson has it taken away. Nice defensive play there by J.C. Felver. Jackson. Well, there, you know, the, with this fast pace of this game and the ball moving so quick, it's, it's slick. You know, Elida's trying to play this ball back, and they're just not at that touch level to be able to do so. And there's been a few turned over where, to me, I think playing, just getting the ball up and out of any type of danger is probably the better option. A dangerous play here as Elida does just send it out for a Salina throw. Another one knocked out of play. Here's the cross back post, knocked up in the air by Rammel. And Kling Schoen chasing it down in the corner. Stays in play. She's closed off by Durham. Still some work to do, now sends it into the box. That's Raven Harris. This one back post. And knocked out for a goal kick. Yeah, it looks like maybe that was played off. You can hear some Salina fans. It looks like it, from our angle, maybe that played off of Laux, but uh, he to, got a goal kick there to try to get things reset because right now it's been about 10 minutes with Salina controlling things. Couple substitutes enter this game as Elida sends the goal kick to midfield, but it's brought down by Salina. Here's Hathaway, sends it out to the right side. And a Salina throw. Salina works it down that right side, eventually winning a corner. And yeah. that ball goes rolling down the hill. Yeah, and these corners are what's dangerous. You gotta try to avoid those. There's been a few that you like to kind of kick it out and allowing those corners, which in a night like tonight, that's definitely not something you want the way that ball's been moving around in the box. Ball loose here. Chased down by Hannah Jones. Sent back into the box by Salina. Still some danger. 
In the middle, here's a shot and knocked away by the keeper, Ramirez, with the big save there. Yeah, and, and, and you know, three lighted defenders were holding back there. Just 15 was just so uh, just totally unmarked in the middle. That's what they have to mark a little tighter in that defensive, you know, right in the, inside that box area. A lot of throws down the left side now. Jackson drops it back. That's Wallace. Wallace back up to Jackson. And her pass cut out. Now Salina may be a chance to counter. Here's Harris. Harris has it taken away. Ball into the box. Jackson knocks it down. And eventually Salina able to clear. Only as far as Hannah Jones, though. And Jones is closed off. Good defense from Salina swarming the ball. On their left side, Salina. Top of the box. A little miscommunication as Salina wasn't sure who was going to go get it, but now it's the first goal scorer, Holstad. She crosses into the box, brought down by Harris. Harris with the good footwork oh. and another nice save by Ramirez. Great save by Ramirez. You absolutely can do that yes. as the Salina fans are unhappy, but that is 100% <laughs> right. yes. a play you that you yeah. are meant to you can totally perform do that. in soccer. That's actually taunt, I yeah, guess. Right. <laughs> That's a good shield, actually, yeah. So now Elida <laughs> heading right to left. King, or Knight, excuse me. She has it taken away. Chance for Salina. And this is where see this is where Elida gets in that situation where they start to lose in the middle. You'll notice that with playing those two girls out front, they, they kind of stay up and then they're now maybe a chance to counter. Elida sending it down the right side and nice job coming off the line and clearing it away by the goalkeeper. Yeah. So, or Sites, excuse me. Well yes, you know Sites is poor win. For her, you know, she that ball was coming right to her, and then that wind just killed it. So she had to kick instead of. I'm sure her plan was originally pick that up as if it was coming into the box, but that one crossed into the box, but no one there. As the keeper does a nice job coming out and communicating with her teammate, that was Schiffauer. Elida trying to find space in midfield. Up the right side, Knight giving chase. She's cut off there by Rose Axe. Oh, good. Here's a shot and, and another a one. goal. I'll tell you what, Knight, Knight just, she, she has that footwork that just sets those balls up and, and, and good finish by Peyton Kuhn. Peyton Kuhn with the third goal for Elida. Five goals scored already <laughs> in the first half. A 3-2 game here in Salina. And I guess if you're going to sit out in the weather like this, you may as well get some fireworks. At least, yeah. At least we, there's a lot, been a lot of action already score-wise, yes. Salina so makes some substitutions. My lips are starting to freeze up. Elida, take it away. Right side, Jackson. Jackson waiting for someone to make a run. Now finds Jones in midfield. And good decision by Jackson. I think they're totally expecting her to uh, play the ball outside, and, and she just turned back in and made a good pass in. Elida still working with it on the right side. They drop it back. Durham, back up to Thomas. Thomas has it taken away by Hathaway. Hathaway sends it behind the D. Holstad trying to run it down, and she'll be able to get there in time. Good deep, yep. Well, maybe not necessarily back in the middle, but 
And she was fouled on the kick. So Something kind turns of out to be a nice play. Kind of surprised because I, I almost feel you might have had possession there. You could have, you know. Sure. I, I understand advantage, but I think they probably could have played it off. But. Nonetheless, sent up the left side by Overholt. She'll get it right back. Nice Good ball decision. for Knight. I thought you said you'd be more critical. Uh, so far, I, very complimentary. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying. To, I'm trying <laughs> to get better in my old age. Jackson, Another good ball through. Nice touch. Kuhn drops it for Knight, and Knight, I think her momentum think was taking were, yeah. her backward there. She's taken away by Salina, but a nice step. Overholt once again gets around the defense. Overholt, left foot pass. Nice job, Kuhn. Touches it back for Jones. And Jones has the foot uh, too, much, too much a lot of the time. But, yeah, that's that's a dangerous spot when Jones is about 25 yards deep or so. I would not want to leave her unmarked. But. Good build up there by Elida. Working it up the left side. Yeah, you know, I think I, I think Salina knows that, you know, the, the key for Elida is uh, Anna Lee and JoJo kind of playing. And, and they're maybe allowing a little more than I'm guessing Coach wants to. She saw Coach a little unhappy earlier, and I think that might have been part of the issue of making sure they're marking and knowing where those two girls are. Ball goes out for a Salina throw. Both teams working on the far side. It's knocked out. Stays with Salina. Down the left they go with Dirksen. Dirksen with the cross, brought down. Still some work to do. Out to the outside now. Holstad. Just Holstad drops it back. Savannah Jacobs, and sure not the result she was looking for. She was even running away from it, but referee says off of Elida, corner coming up. Yeah, I think both of these groups, what's getting in trouble is trying to have to make that tackle and, you know, play instead of just maybe containing and slowing these attacks down. And you called out the flurries. You were right on that because now they're, <laughs> the snow flurries are coming. That cross knocked away by Elida, cleared into midfield. Jackson steps. Now sends it up the right side, taken away by Salina. That was Paige Vite. Nice touch there by Jelena Howard. And this is going to be danger again if they can find JoJo Knight out here, but good step. It's grabbed by Ellie Hitchcock, who sends it out for an Elida throw, and Elida has a substitute ready to come on. That's Wallace. She will replace Julia Thomas. You know, seeing Anna Lee Jackson earlier, that she was, came back, and that's something that so many forwards don't do. Came back and stepped in front mm. of those defenders and kept the ball alive for Elida. And that's something that always got frustrated me coaching. Or <laughs> you got to play some defense, too, girls. That was meant to be an Elida throw, but the referee saw it differently. Right, and I think you could hear some Salina fans here again wanting her to get a card. She just <laughs> so literally malicious. misunderstood that. So it malicious. Was, yes. <laughs> Poor girl just misunderstood. It wasn't her throwing, so. <laughs> Attack. It's <Wow. That's> harsh. <laughs> yeah, it's Ball out of play. Salina throw on the far side. So the way this game's been going back and forth, if I'm Elida, I want to get out with a with a with a one one up goal here or lead, you know, on, on Salina. Salina's obviously trying to get this even back up, but the way it's been going, I, neither team's had that cushion at all because they just keep going back and forth. Right. And as a coach, I know you were a coach for for a while. As a coach, on a night like this, you don't have a locker room to go to. What do you do? You, do you have your your team stand, jump it's, around, it's run tough. around? It's tough. I'll tell you what. I know I'm 30, and, and that's old relative to these players. But you tell me to sit yeah. down for five minutes <laughs> right. in the cold. I'm not getting back up. You know, I remember buying a couple of those 
propane little little mini heaters oh, just, sure. just for nights like this when you were away and you had nowhere to go. You know, home you can maybe sneak into wherever wherever you're at, you know, but yeah, yeah, that's it's definitely change it totally changes how you play a game and you know, usually uh you know, if we were the better team, I hated weather. If we were the worst team, maybe a little bit of advantage for the team that wasn't as well. Well, these sure. teams are pretty evenly matched, so <laughs> right. I think it, I don't know if there's necessarily an advantage for either group here. That one knocked down. It was a handball, but a goal anyway. Salina ties it at 3-3. Tell you what, you play the ball into the box, you're dangerous. And that's exactly what the doctor ordered for the Salina Bulldogs with 3.27 to go until half. They've been working it up that left side. They finally get across the fall. Well, Elida's got a little bit of a different lineup here. Usually the uh, the Paige Durham, who we've talked about a lot, is in the middle. So she's playing right side right now, and it's really a little different than what they've done all season. So it's somewhat surprising because they're just not maybe flowing the way they normally would in the middle of the field. And, and you can see that's paying off for Salina. So to, to me, at this point, I'm not sure if you want to switch something like that, like like that, which you've kind of played the entire year. Foul against Salina. No, I think the idea behind Eli to doing that is maybe keep Paige on Dirksen out there, but. But uh, if she can contain her, it doesn't really matter if the ball's <laughs> right. You get loose in the middle. Ball floats in midfield, now knocked forward. Far side, here's Paige Durham. Durham to Jackson, but a nice step there by the Salina defender. I believe that's Burns on the far side. Elida sends, sends it out to Olivia Wallace as we hit the two minute mark in the first half. And just continues to go back and forth. And, you know, both sides, I think, again, this this weather we keep talking about is, has just made this such a different game of maybe some of these clear, some of the some of the talk in the middle of the field here to where maybe, maybe normal night, maybe we're more of like a 1-1 <laughs> instead of a 3-3, but. Absolutely. Burns passes it off to Hathaway. Hathaway sends it into the box behind the defense, and it rolls out for a goal kick. One ten to play. First half. Well, and that's another one of those. Hannah Jones has a big foot for Elida, but you pull her to take a goal kick, and <laughs> the ball that she plays up is one that we want. You want to play right to her. Right. So, so I guess I, to me that's kind of uh, takes away the purpose of having your big foot play the ball up as a you know as, as a goal kick. Good battle on the far side. Salinas, Rachel Ramel able to drop it back. Elida clears, under 30 to play. Burns takes a step up, sends it down the left side, and that, that might yeah, stay that, in. That, that, that died down pretty well there. And again, Elida just stopped playing. And the shot wide right. Of the goal. Yeah, I, I, you saw the central defenders just thought the ball was it was <laughs> going out and just not even marking. So Elida got really lucky there. And that does it for an exciting first half. Three to three, your score at halftime here in Salina as we step aside. Second half coming up after this on WOSN.
Welcome back for the start of the second half here in Salina. It's 3-3 between the Salina Bulldogs and the Elida Bulldogs. Evan Skilleter and Brady Overholt with you tonight. Jacob O'Neill on the camera and Brady quite the first half. Two teams that played out to a draw a few weeks ago and now all even as we start the second half, but maybe a chance. Oh, and, and just oh, like wow, that. Just right away. Oh my, right away. It's like, I don't, I don't as if they were, Salina was still getting ready and 17 seconds in and we got a goal. Annalie Jackson with the touch around the goalkeeper and the goal at the 39-43 mark. Well, it's again, we've talked about it. Salina knows who, Salina know, knows who Elida's targets are, so, so you, you can't leave those girls alone. So good ball, good finish by, by Elida. So just like that, four to three in this game. But we've seen a lot of back and forth. Yeah, we've yet to see a team with that, you know, cushion at all. We talked about first half when Elida was up one and right away then Salina scored and and, and again. So I, I'm not sure if a two goal lead is a cushion the way this game's been going right. though. So here goes Knight down the left side. Here's a cross right at the goalkeeper. Nice grab there by Seitz. You know, in this weather, not a terrible ball. If you had a little more on it, that yeah. could have been dangerous. So I also see the ones that drop in front of the goalkeeper, skip on the ground. Right, right. And, and a lot of times they're just deflected and parried right in front of the goal. And one of these, in a game like this, I said it earlier, but you put the ball in the box, it's dangerous. And you're exactly right, especially, yeah, coming off of, you know, being off the field for 10 minutes and maybe <laughs> not warmed up yet. And, Down the left side go the Bulldogs. That's Dirksen, saw her work down the left side a lot in the first half. Jackson cuts that one off. Player hits the deck for Elida, that was Knight. Now ball into the box. Cut away by Durham. As the wind picks up again, so. Oh, and again, that, and, and, and that's a good decision by this line of defender, the way the way this, this wind's playing and, and, and the way as slick as it is, just sometimes it's okay to just give up that throw and then get yourselves reset. Jackson around a defender, left-footed cross into the box. Knocked to the top, chased down by Olivia Wallace. Good job by Wallace. Now shoots oh. and knocked over the bar by Seitz. A good shot, but a better save and a corner coming up for Elida. Great save by by Seitz. But yes, you can see you, we can just watch over in our our area. You know, you can just see that wind going and and that angle going right with Elida this half. So so that wind picking up. You know, if you're on the Elida side, that's the advantage to you guys because it's kind of cut towards the Salina defensive third. Wallace takes the corner, it's low. Knocked back. This one a bit higher toward the middle of the box, knotted down, and now another shot knocked away by Salina. Good defense in there by Taylor Klingsharon. Good touch. And, and there's another are, cross, that's the those one. Those are the ones you're talking about, you're exactly right, because you get a little skip on that ball. And, and well handled by the goalkeeper that time, Sites. And I think Seitz needs her shoe tied. It's always tough when you're the goalkeeper <laughs> right. and your shoe needs tied. You got those big gulp, um, big bulky gloves on, excuse me. So a little, little assist there by her, her center defender. Now play resumes with a drop ball by the referee. All sent into midfield. Jackson tries to bring it down. She's closed off by Carly Hathaway. Now Hathaway with a nice ball down the left side. Here's Dirksen. Dirksen's cross knocked down. She'll get another chance at it. This one sneaks through, but it's cut off by Wallace. Nice move by Jones, but ultimately taken away by Raven Harris. Well, I think Jones was trying to cut back to find JoJo on that far side, JoJo Knight, and just, just 
one extra touch there that, that allowed Salina to make a good uh, de defensive save there. That ball goes out of play. You light a throw. And this referee is on top of things today. <laughs> Making sure you throw it in from where you're supposed to. He said no farther forward, and Durham takes two steps. She got <laughs> yeah, lucky. Yeah. He was ready. <laughs> Some guys, that's like, I, apparently their pet peeve, I guess. Yeah, but. hey, everyone has their thing. <laughs> Salina down the left side. Here comes Dirksen. Dirksen's cross knocked down by Durham. And then that one goes behind the goal for a goal kick. I want to thank our scoreboard sponsor today, Wabash Mutual Telephone. As soon as they said that little pass, get out of the box. Proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Here's Jones, has it taken away, but only briefly. Burns, her pass taken away. That's Schiffauer. And Jackson gives it up to Jones. Jones. Tries to get it behind the defense, but knocked down nicely by Hitchcock. Now Salina putting some pressure on Elida's back line. Jelena Howard running away from that. Ball goes out of play. All right, well, I was gonna say, I think that was, yeah, that's white ball there. Oh, and called a kick. Surprise. I'm not I sure don't what think that... it went out. I think she oh, picked it up okay. off the ground okay. and he called a handball. Right, I was going to because there was definitely not a foul there. So nice now down the right side, Salina behind the defense, maybe a chance to cross edge of the box, sent toward goal. It gets through and no goal as Paige Durham comes up with it. Dirksen was right there, but not able to get well, on the end. Yeah, and great heads-up play by Paige Durham. It looked like the it looked like Salina had the inside advantage on that. Paige came up with it. Jones wants to get behind the defense and just cut out there. Nice job this by is Peyton Kuhn with the ball uh, now. Felver. Another all oh, good, good save. Those are the dangerous ones, and so far, Seitz has done great back there keeping those in front of her. I'll tell you what, folks, I don't have a thermometer, but it can't be more than 35 uh, I'm, degrees. I'm thinking we're hitting that freezing point. <laughs> yeah. Jones, her touch a bit heavy. Knocked away by Felver. Now down the left, good ball, grabbed by Dirksen. Dirksen, left-footed cross, knocked away. And a nice step there. Yeah, good good play by Salina there. And that's just one we gotta get, just get, try to get rid of a little quicker. The way this weather's going, it's, you know, you hate to say it, but sometimes you're just getting those balls cleared out and out of your defensive third is the best option. Salina with a throw. Crossed into the box, and that one took a funny hop. Yeah, yeah, there's been a few of those here, and the one got away from, you know, the one go goal in the first half. Salina got kind of just bounced in there. That'd be, that'll be nice to see on the replay of what actually happened there. But. Not sure if you can hear it on the camera, but there's a lot of wind here right now in Salina. Raven Harris puts it to the middle of the field for Hathaway. Hathaway's pass taken away by Thomas. And Thomas has it taken away by Harris. He kind of played right back into her. Now Klingshern down the left side for Dirksen and cut out by Durham. Durham and Dirksen fighting for possession. And a nice move there. Two nice moves. And again, that's those center defenders. That's one where you just got to clear, you know. Um, they're kind of, it's not the normal two that are there, and you can kind of see just a little discussion when it's like, just get the ball out. This 
Ball played down the right on the far side. Knocked out. Some substitutes coming on at the 31 minute mark of the second half. Remember, in playoff time, you do see extra time. There are no draws, no ties. So if this game is tied at the end of regulation, it goes into an overtime period, sudden death overtime period, actually two. And then the shootout, so we're hoping, we're both hoping <laughs> that we're not gonna be here for that. So so hopefully, whichever way it goes, it's in, in the 80 minutes of regulation. Just as long as it goes one way right. or another. <laughs> that's, that's all I care about. I know you may be a little <laughs> less impartial. Maybe a little biased there, but yeah. It's Both teams again fighting for possession in the midfield as Wallace steps in a big collision. Both players get up. Play continues. I don't know who they would have called the foul yeah, on, so I, probably I, yeah. a good job by the referees I think there. Good no foul. It almost looked like he went to his whistle and then pulled back, and that was the right decision. <laughs> he probably thought about right. it on the, on the way up. Wait, who is this going like. to go yeah. against? And there's just Paige Durham. You can't say enough about her and her. You know, she's just kind of been controlling that side. If I'm Stalina, I'm staying away from from the left side because she's stopping everything. Wallace to the right side for Jackson. It goes off Jackson's head. Well, we all oh, saw it, yeah. oh, but yeah, the referee did not. That was a bad one. Now a substitution. It's a lot of a uh, lot of talk just for yeah. a throw in here. Yeah. Yeah, he well, play continues. He okay, they got one there. Yeah, that was that was definitely not the right call. <laughs> now again, Paige oh, Durham. Play by Paige, yeah. And this is where you want to switch the field quickly. And ooh, she was on but that's all right right yeah <laughs> see that's one of those where he's getting a little flustered here yeah <laughs> i think and yeah he's uh, I, I you know those calls both of us playing soccer those calls that those offsides that are made when you're out of positions can, can be frustrating yeah <laughs> exactly yeah that's that's one where the defender next to her was certainly had her offside but there's another defender right. away from the play that was back further sometimes that just gets missed Into the game trots Brianna Patrick. Play here on the right side. Now Salina trying to counter. Holstad down the right side. Maybe a chance. Good defense. goalkeeper comes out and Ramirez knocks it away. Right, right. That's that's textbook there. You know she's a. She's just an athlete. This is only her second year playing soccer, actually. And, and yeah, she's a she's a she's a stud on the softball diamond. But uh, she's really she's come a long way in just a couple years. So, are you still assisting with the softball uh, no, team? No, 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 no more. more of that. So, all right. But um, yeah, that's one of those. You know, a lot of times, maybe field players not so much, but goalies you can just find those athletes in your school and sure. kind of teach them a few things. And the ones that are not rest. afraid, right? Right. right. Now Elida trying to move it up the right side with Patrick. Ball taken away by Jacobs. That pass certainly didn't hit its intended target, but Elida sends it out of play anyway. Some more substitutions with 26-36 to play. Getting really close to the sports equinox, by the way. Uh, I believe it should be Thursday with NBA, NFL, NHL, and MLB all, all in action. 
NBA regular season starting tonight. NHL started last week. Yeah, just, it, you know, that what's always been crazy to me, <laughs> NBA, like you said, starting here soon, and, and it'll be going on into, into June. You know, I know so. it, I know it. Takes us all the way through the cold seasons. Well, you're a wrestling guy, so you may not care quite as much as right, I do right, as right. a basketball fan. But right now it's soccer. Salina gets a shot off, and a nice save there by Ramirez once again. Yeah, that marking in the middle, something, you know, Elida's going to have to make sure they're doing. There's been just a few times there. You know Salina's trying to get it, get it up front there and find their target, and few opportunities they've had here it's, it could be deadly if Eli is not kind of cleaning that up a little bit here's a fight on the left side as Rammel trying to get possession for Salina Elida able to keep it in play cut out by Raven Harris our referee brings it back well done there with the advantage no advantage really gained by Salina so he brought it back for the free kick Burns will send it back into play. Down the left side. And again, you see that ball skip off the turf, but Salina able to grab it. Raven Harris and her too touch much. too heavy. Yep, too much. And you know, this is you're not in that urgency point yet, but as the minutes just keep ticking, you know, it's this is you get around that 15 minute point. That's where it was kind of when I was go, okay, let one team slows down a little bit. And Salina is a team that's got to keep playing with that urgency. But I think this is probably the longest stretch we've had without a goal. <laughs> I think you're right. I honestly do. Goal 34, 28, and 27, again, 16. Jackson alone on that back post, and that can that can be deadly if they're not careful. And the goalkeeper oh, has some work enough. to do. She's able to clear it at least away from the goal mouth. That's a hit. This one sent toward the goal, takes a skip, and grabbed by the keeper. And like you said, she's done a nice job she handling has. those skips right in front of her. Yeah, there. You know, if I'm Salina, you gotta you gotta start eliminating that that 25 yard shot that just you know just <laughs> hurting your goalie because yeah. she just happened to kind of clean everything up. Nicely taken away there by Salina, trying to get it up down the left side for Ramel. Nice job there by Great Durham. Great job by Durham, yep. Jackson. But just a little slow there, but again, good touch. Elida trying to switch sides. Wallace has her pass taken away, but a nice step by Olivia Green. Gets Elida the ball back. How about that touch? Great touch by Wal or, uh, by uh, Kuhn there, but out of bounds. And a corner coming up for Elida. Or do they call a goal kick? Okay, goal kick. That's what I thought it was. Some fans shouting instructions. Yeah. Well, I think what, what we were seeing on both sides is uh, Salina trying to free up free up their goal scorer, and uh, I think Elida's just got Durham follow, following her and kind of me and marking her and eliminating the, the whole left side, honestly, tonight. If, if a goal's been scored, it's not been on her side, that's for sure. Absolutely, and a nice job by Ramirez coming off the line to send that out of play. Salina finally got behind the Elida defense, but no one there to clean it up. Far side, cross into the box, knocked toward the keeper, and brought in. I, I, <laughs> you hear a couple of Salina fans again. I don't think they understand. Like, it's got to be intentional. <laughs> An intentional pass back, absolutely. There's a lot of stuff that's not going to be intentional in this weather, and that definitely was not intentional. Nice job, 
tipped out off of Elida. So line of throw. People wonder why we have such a shortage of referees. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it's always, it's always usually, it can be brutal down south here. But. <laughs> Nice step by Salina to take that away. That was Haley Garrity stepping up. And now maybe a chance developing on the far side for Dirksen. Dirksen tries the cross, it's knocked down. And see a, a handball. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's quick over there and she kind of snuck in there on the backside. And Here's a shot that goes wide left. Just over 20 minutes to play in regulation. Elida with the one goal lead, four to three. They score about, what, 12 seconds into the second right, half? Right, yeah, yeah, very quick, yeah. And just, I mean, pretty textbook. Just come down the one side, play to the middle. and Now Elida with Thomas. Thomas drops it off for Jones. Jones sending it behind the defense. It's knocked away, still some Work to do, and they call a foul against Elida. Yeah. It's called against Peyton Kuhn. I, I think I heard a Salina parent just say it's in the box, but it's the box is a box. <laughs> it's their box. It's true. A I'm box is sure. a box. She's right. She was sure. not wrong. It yeah, was in the box. Yeah, I, guess, I don't know if it changes the kit. But <laughs> Free kick uh. taken by Salina, sent into midfield. Hey, playoff time. And everyone's emotions are Pretty, running high. Yeah, excited. <laughs> Now Salina puts one into the box and it's cut out by Schiffauer. Oh, good ball if that could have just a little more on it and that was coming all the way over this side. Ball sent down the left for Rammel. Rammel passes it inside, now drop back. That's Jacobs, and Jacobs sends one down the right side, and that's gonna go out of play for a goal kick. We had to be sure there, because there's been quite a few that just yeah. sat on that line. It, it, yeah. It. Another substitute entering the game with 18.05 left. Another player needs a shoe tied. This is a good time wasting method here, right? Right, right, right. Hey, my shoe's untied. <laughs> 15 seconds, I think, ran off the clock there. Some more substitutes entering the game and have to imagine Elida will try to sub as much as they can before what is it the last five minutes that the right, clock right. will stop yeah, if mean, the team yeah. that's leading sends a substitute in but yeah. until then to me if you can just keep working some time off this off this uh clock and, and you know it slowly goes from you know we were at 25 and now we're 17 and next thing you know it's it's one team rushing to get something and one team slowing it down and The ball goes out of play. Lida will throw this in. Another good fight for the ball. You'll probably see a lot of that here as time winds down. Salina able to get the last touch. Was it sent forward by Halstead, but Ramirez there. Yeah, they're trying to get it up to Kurt. Uh, 
Brian, what is it? Uh, Haven, sorry. Uh, Haven, you know, she's up there waiting for that, that ball, or I think it was. That's tough because the numbers are not yeah. in order. Kirkshire is it? Yeah, who's the, who they're trying to get up to? Number two. Sorry. There's another ball that gets through there. And and at this point, an Elida goal, I wouldn't say seals it, but certainly would feel like a dagger. Well, the way that yeah, you're right. The way that this game's went, you know, I I, I, I don't think the goal lead does it obviously because of what we've seen, but a two goal lead. With the, with the way the last 15 minutes have went, would definitely make it quite a bit harder here for Salina to come back. Well, you said it about five minutes ago. It was the longest we've been without a goal in this game. And five minutes later, still, our only score of the second half came 12 seconds in. Now across into the box. That's a nice looking ball. <laughs> Maybe a chance. Shot toward goal, and it's wide left. Did it take a touch? Yeah, it looks like just goal kick there, so so maybe a little lucky there for Eli to the backside was open. That's been a few times now that they've been open on that backside. That was Halstead giving it a chase, but the shot goes wide left and a goal kick for Eli that will be taken by Olivia Wallace. Brought down by Raven Harris. Down the right side. Dirksen trying to get possession. Dirksen with the cross. And oh, the header <laughs> mistimed. What a good ball. As Klingshire just couldn't get anything on it. Yeah, that was usually that, you know, that she was flicking that ball right back in the middle. And that's the one time we've kind of seen uh, the, the ball get crossed over on Durham's side. A good fight on the far side as it's finally knocked out by Savannah Jacobs. Well cut out there by Salina. Now drop back. They'll play from the back. Down the left side. Knight gets a foot on it. Ball at the edge of the box and Elida able to clear. Salina really starting to put pressure on this Elida defense. Yeah, you know, that's where you, you gotta be careful if you're Elida. You can't you can't play too much defensive minded, just you know, packing the box and not not giving up a goal because you know, because then it's tied back up. You gotta still stay on your attack to you know of what got you here. And Knight goes through the entire defense and knocks one out wide right. She said it took a deflection, referee disagrees, and it's a goal kick. Not sure. I did not see the referee say stop the clock. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Clock stops anyway. Corner. It is they do corner. change the call. And you know the here's the thing. If, if 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 it's a corner, it's a corner. You know, and we hear some someone saying, "How can you change it?" It doesn't matter. If, which ref it is. It doesn't matter who has the right. better view. Whoever sees it correctly right. is the one that makes the call. Get him out of there. Get out. Get out. Knight goes around, crosses into the box. It's knocked down. Elida side wants a handball, but that was one of those where the arms in the natural position anyway is right. the ball sent toward the goal. Well, and it looks like one, one of the Elida girls quit playing and, you know, had her hands up. <laughs> you got to keep playing. Nothing was called. Got to play to the whistle. Yeah, the handball, another one that's relatively misunderstood by most fans. You know, the ball, if it hits your arm or your hand and you're in a natural position, whether it's running or standing with your hands to your side, the referee generally not gonna call it. Now a chance for a shot and it's blocked. <coughs> ball still loose as Ramirez comes off the line. Salina trying to get in position to cross, they do. So, 
So the wind's picking up again. It's, it was down a little bit. And this is, again, where if you're relied on, I'm just moving the ball up the field. and Taking as much time as you can, right, no yeah, question. This one going to be wide right. And again, one of those where as a goalkeeper, you just try to just slow, slow down, down as right, much right. as well, you can. You, and you were a goalkeeper, right? You know, like yeah. just slow it down and... and, and and, and you know, if it's another 10, 20 seconds, it's another 10, 20 seconds. It's it's funny how you hear the fans, they change, you know, based off the, the where they're at in the yeah, game. Yeah, exactly. So. If it's your goalkeeper when you're up, right, yeah, you're not exactly. mad at all. If it's the other goalkeeper when you're exactly. down, hey, don't do that. And I'm the same way, oh, even, even though I know the rule, I hate it. Yeah, I, I, I am too, I, yeah. It's always different depending on what side of it you're on. <laughs> That's right. Elida with it on the far side, doing their best to keep the ball out of the net. They're actually possessing pretty well there, and what a great ball. What a ball. Knight, maybe a chance, oh. but a good job by the Salina defense of coming back and taking that away. Now we'll have a stoppage of play. So we've got an injured player on the field with 10.20 to go. We'll step aside as she's attended to. Four to three, Elida on top of Salina here at Salina High School. You're watching High School Soccer on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Wabash Mutual Telephone, proud supporter of Mercer County Athletics. Welcome back to Salina High School where we have just over 10 minutes to play. It's four to three, Elida on top. Three to three at halftime, only one goal here in the second half. And Elida trying to hold on. Yes, first, <laughs> you're exactly right. As many goals were scored in the first half, just back and back. Six goals to, to only have one, and, and honestly one in the first 15 seconds is kind of, kind of crazy. I thought we might be around a 10 goal total tonight. So it's definitely slowed down the second half. We've got a whistle on the far side. Oh yeah, throw in, okay, sorry. Didn't see what was going on there as Elida throws it in, working it down the left side. That's Olivia Green and that's knocked out of play. Nice clearance by Salina. That was Burns stepping up and clearing it away, but Elida will get back on the end of it with Jackson. Jackson almost has it taken away. Now Salina gets on the end. Now maybe a chance. Salina with a shot and it's wide left but grabbed by Ramirez anyway. Taken there by Rachel Rammel. Yeah, normally I would be yelling right now, so I, I, I am I'm, I'm getting better in my old age. So that, one <laughs> that, that one she that probably would have got. Did got go a right yell past. At, so yeah, okay. All the right. freshman messed up there. Uh, <laughs> sure she's happy her dad is on the headset <laughs> well, instead sure of so too. standing down on the sideline. This ball toward the left side, and Salina not able to keep it in play, so an Elida throw. Salina with some substitutes ready to enter this game. And that little mess up by the referee cost about four seconds off the clock too. That ball will go out of play. Well, well we think, yeah, that's that's probably the smart play. Well, well like you that, said, we've seen those where stop. The keep, you know, that's to me that's got to be the keepers when that ball dies down like I'm that. I'm sure. You know, so so that's where they that. A little bit more discussion on the Elida defensive side there. That was a great defensive move by Jackson. She's actually moved back into the uh, def more of a holding mid spot. Salina so cuts that out. Elida was looking at a potential chance. Now Dirksen, and a lot of Bulldogs from Elida in the midfield, and now the ball sent toward the goalkeeper, and Sight's able to knock it away. Well, and that's if you have, you know, the one of those 
Ana Lee's back here, so you're, you're giving up that speed a little bit on that offensive side. But you're obviously picking up with, with a one-goal lead, picking up up front there. Back in come some substitutes. Knight will check in, and my glasses are wet and foggy. And I'm not sure who the other one is. Is that it looks Carmen like, uh, Blaine? It uh, looks like uh, Blaine and uh, JoJo Knight were on. And Knight gets past one defender, runs right into another one. Nice job there by Burns. It's Kamara Burns. Burns again, making it tough for Elida to do much. Now ball in behind the defense. Seitz is going to come out, and Seitz is going to get there. Six minutes to play in this one, at and least the, in regulation. Yeah, and this is where you know the urgency kind of sets in. Um, you've had this whole half thinking there's plenty of time, and then you start to realize, oh man, we're you know the. And another pass by Salina taken away by Elida. That back line needs to stay on their toes as we hit the five and a half minute mark. Ball ushered out of play for an Elida throw. Well, and that was just kind of played out to where again, Salina's gotta be in the, in the mode of moving the ball up and not kind of playing a ball out on their defensive third. Cross into the box. Nice looking cross. Oh. Sights bobbles and able to pull it back in. Good job by her again. You have to take your hats off to her. Right. She has done a really nice job, especially in this second half, handling these really tough balls. And also, I mean, this weather is not nice on a goalkeeper, and right. she's done a tremendous job. 100%. You know, you're, 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 she's, she's playing with the wind against her. Uh, there's a few moves by JoJo Knight. Um, but the wind's against her. She's probably had 10 crosses her way, and she's managed to stop every one of them. And this is going to go out for an Elida corner, and this is where you have to watch. So 428, we'll see how the gamesmanship plays out as JoJo pretends that she's running <laughs> across the field. Yeah, this isn't <laughs> this isn't some of these girls' first time, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna let as much run off as they can. It's frustrating if you're the other team. I've been on both sides, and I'm sure you have too, but yep. but that, that it's not like this is anything new. So just about 30 seconds run off the clock between the ball going out of play and put back in play. Knight dribbling back to the corner. It's exactly what you teach. She dribbled it out of play, and it's a, an elided throw, so Salina must have taken a touch. This one's sent to the edge of the box. Now Salina, chance to counter. Try to send it in behind the defense. It's cut out by Elida. Again, that's where, that's where Joe, you know, you got to get back. These these offensive players have got to get back because the Elida's defense is just going to be clearing it. So Salina with the cross at the top of the box. Brought down by Harris. Now a shot, and that's going to be wide left. Three minutes to play. Elida trying to advance. Salina trying to send this at least into overtime. <laughs> They're dirty. They're dirty. Yeah. That's what we're getting from the fans well, here. Well, here's the thing. That, that's totally on the refs. If a girl's shoe's untied, then and then the ref should stop the clock. Yeah, and absolutely. let them tie the shoe, but <laughs> I'm not sure of, you know, apparently we know here that, that the Our, shoe wasn't untied. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> perhaps. I also think the definition of dirty right, needs to be reevaluated. Right. Again, Paige Durham out here. and She's done fantastic right, yeah, here in the second half. Oh, and this and one goes all goes the way out. through, and yep, it does. it's Are, out. Yeah. So this is where, uh, you know, if you're Salina, you got to be moving the ball in, and they're just kind of 
kind of, I, I don't want to say possessing, but playing on the outside where all their danger's up right up in the middle, you know, and, and you got to get the ball in there to her. <laughs> and Elida again, able to milk about 30 seconds right. off the clock. Hey, if you're Salina, keep it out. Yeah. Keep it from going. Right, out. right, right. I mean, that was, yeah, you're right. That was a turnover on, on there, on there girls so <laughs> maybe a chance here Salina with the cross possessed in the box and now cleared away only as far as Burns and this is where if yep I mean that's probably the right decision you know just a shot if not much else has happened you're running out of time so again if I'm light I'm clearing up and playing to the corners and, and This ball sent back into the box. This is where Here's you the cross. Be careful. And now you can see the field conditions coming into play as a Bulldog slips. And now Salino with a throw. 59, 58 seconds on the clock. And JoJo Knight's going to get a card, I believe. I've never seen someone so excited yeah, for a yellow yeah, card. Yeah. So JoJo Knight gets a yellow, and yeah. that happens. That's one of those where you just kind of say as a coach, all right, right come over. Right, right. It, 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 the thing, <laughs> I think we just saw someone saying that should be a red. Oh, man. <laughs> we got a oh, Okay, well. All right. Uh, so yeah. the referee will take care of business here. 58 <laughs> seconds. The clock stopped, so it's not like anything was hurt there. Exactly. That's what uh, I don't think they're understanding. Maybe. I, I don't know. Still waiting for play to start. The referee says continue. Ball sent in. Clock continues to run. And again, you know, you got to. Uh, you got to be pressuring here. No crosses, no ball in. Now you light a take. chance to counter. They have a runner on this side, but they're going to play on the left. You're just playing up the field, exactly right, you know. And, and I'm th you're hitting here. Oh. 32 seconds on the clock. Ball up the right side, and Salina takes a heavy touch. It will go out of play. JoJo Knight checks back in. The clock stops with the substitution. Referee wants to think two more seconds on the clock. Three seconds, Three. so we're going to have 27. Rooting for a second yellow. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, well, <laughs> not right. quite sure. Sometimes I think all the adults maybe forget these are, these are kids out here, but. Ball back into play, 25 seconds on the clock. Elida just needs to possess for 20 seconds. Salina trying to get back on it. Ball will cross the line and it's an Elida throw. <laughs> oh no, it's a Salina throw. Five, they will hustle four, down the right side. Three, three seconds on two, the clock, two on the one, clock, zero. and that will do it. Elida with a hard fought four to three win on the road in tough conditions. Right, right. Much different second half. Second, but uh, yeah, they held on to it. That first 17 seconds into the half, and that's all we had here. Congratulations to the Elida Bulldogs for advancing, and congratulations to Salina for a fantastic season. They've got multiple seniors on the team that played in their last game today, and never like to see the last game of the season for any team, uh, but certainly a hard fought one here. I want to thank our scoreboard sponsor once again, our, the Wabash Mutual Telephone Company. I want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in to High School Soccer on WOSN. For Brady Overholt and Jacob O'Neill, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night and God bless.